Okay, drop shadow. Uh, here's a tutorial in how to make drop shadow in Corel Draw. Uh, okay, so if I have a text here and I want to put some drop shadow, so the icon to choose there is this icon, this interactive drop shadow. Now, when you click on the interactive drop shadow in the upper left corner, you'll have presets. Okay, there's a view in uh, there's a like a thumbnail view of the the drop shadow that you're going to expect. So, okay, so let's say I want this one. There. Uh, it's kind of tricky in Corel Draw X3 because you really can't, you know, that thumbnail is not exactly the same as what we have right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to see this uh, this black icon here, black box, that, that will control the distance. If you click on that and drag it, say going up so that controls the distance between the drop between the text and the drop shadow now this slider here controls the see that slider that controls the opacity of the of the drop shadow so if I want it darker it goes like that okay now say for example I'm happy with this drop shadow here so what I'm gonna do I'm making that I'll make that as a preset so you click that, uh, okay, you click the, 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 you don't click on the text because if you don't, if you click on the text, you won't see the drop shadow properties here on the, on the upper corner of the interface. What you do, you have to click on the drop shadow itself. Then see here, it comes back. Okay. That's the, that's the drop shadow property. Now, if I want that to make a preset so that I won't make the same property of drop shadow all over again with all the text. So I can make that preset. So just click on add preset and a dialog box will show up. And I'll say here, uh, I'll just put here final drop shadow. So what happens here, that property of drop shadow will, will be saved and then click save. Now, if you notice here in the preset, see final drop shadow since in there so it's a preset now so what i'm gonna do so if i want to click uh, well, if i want to make the same property of this drop shadow so just click on this text here and then i go to my drop shadow icon and then go here and then just click on the final drop shadow preset and there you go so it's the same one if you notice i put a an outline on these two texts a white outline it really depends upon your preference like you can also you know do it without drop sh without the outline so this one has no outline i just put an outline because so that it would make make the text stand out more now let's go to this one here okay i select that and go to my drop shadow icon and i click on preset i click on final drop shadow Okay, so same thing. Now we're not only stuck to uh, to text. As you know, you can also do it in in photographs. Like for example, this is a photograph, and I put a put the same uh, same effect, drop shadow properties on the on the photograph. Okay. Now let's say I I decided not to put the drop shadow anymore. Okay. Uh, so what you do there is you click on the drop shadow, okay? Okay, you don't click on the text because what happens if you click on the text? It's only the text properties that will show here. But if you click on the drop shadow itself, then you'll see that the properties of the drop shadow will show up, okay? Okay, in the property of the drop shadow, in the very far end, uh, far right of the of the property, you can see this icon here. That means to say you want to clear the drop shadow okay so click on that to clear the drop shadow and as you notice the drop shadow is gone okay now i know you see some as uh, the glowing text in uh in the uh in an ad so we can also do that in corel so say for example i'm going to make um 
Okay, I'll make a background which is a dark background. I can even make it black here. I'll put a black background. Okay. And I'll put this behind. So go to Arrange and click on Order and go to the back of page. Now, I'm going to remove the outline because I want to show the, the glowing effect of the text. Okay. Now, glowing is also a drop shadow. So you click on the drop shadow icon here. And then in the preset, you'll see there's a large glow and a medium glow. Let's try the large glow first. So when you click on the large glow, you notice that nothing happened, right? Because the, the 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 drop shadow is black and the background is black, so the drop shadow will disappear. So going back to your uh, drop shadow preset here, I'll make the drop shadow white. So in here, you make it white. Okay, so that you can make whatever drop shadow you want, whatever color. But for this one, I'll make it white. Now when you click on white, this is important. So when you click on white, nothing happens. Even though I put white, so how come white doesn't show up? It's because of this, in this, in this property here, it's multiply. So you have to click on normal so that the drop shadow will show up. It goes to normal. And there you go. Now, in this one, you can, you can adjust the, the drop shadow. Like I said, we can see so this is for the opacity. Okay. And then this is the distance. So play around with these settings here in order to, uh, to achieve what effect you want. So let's say, for example, I want it just to be very light there or very dark. Or I can even make it not glow in the center, but glow in in that way. There. And let's say I'll put a, uh, a very thin outline. Put a white outline. Okay, so I'll make a white outline. Okay, behind fill. And then click OK. Okay, so that's, that's how you do it.